What's up, what's up, what's up, Facebook fam? This is your girl, Gail Crowder, and guess what? It is Tuesday, and you know what that is. It is Wife Chat Tuesday, and I'm so excited to be on here today. So as you guys join me, make sure that you're going to tap in and tell everybody Wife Chat Tuesday is going down with Gail Crowder. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm so excited because every Tuesday I just get uh, excited. What's up, sis? What's up, Kimberly? What's up? What's up? What's up, Tony? You guys, thank you so much for jump, jumping on. I'm so excited that it's Tuesday. I get a chance to come in and just drop in and um, do what I love to do, which is teach and speak. And so thank you guys. Make sure you guys go share it. The Wife Chat Tuesday is going down. What's up, sweetie, sweet? Um, it is storming something terrible here in Maryland. So my prayer is that we don't get cut off or I don't get the buffering or whatever. I have a really good internet service. So let's just keep praying that it'll hang in there for a couple of minutes I'm gonna be on here. But again, go go share that Wife Chat Tuesday is going down. Thank you so much for getting on, Sharon. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Go Make sure you go share that white chat Tuesday is going down. You know, I wanted to really come on here um, because I get a chance, like, you know, you guys know, to talk to women from all over the world. And I am just amazed, and, and, I, and I shouldn't be amazed, that how many people are dealing with so many things going on in their marriage and their family. And it just seems like the devil just keeps cutting up. Hi, Naomi, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me. Go share the white chat chat Tuesdays going down. But it's just like seriously, it's like the devil is acting a fool, right? And and you know, I had a a a, a lady that I was able to talk to today, and she was from Canada, and she was like, "Gail, you know, I'm just tired. It's like I, I you know, I feel like I fix get one thing going right in my." marriage then my kids are acting a nut and it, it's just it's just like this she said i just feel like i'm on this wheel and i just can't get off and so that inspired my my chat for tonight you know why is the devil so busy in our marriages and in our families and that is a, a question that you know I, I probably won't be able to answer fully but you know i went into prayer you know not just for this lady but for other other families just for our families today because it's just it is ridiculous the amount of stuff that is happening in the world with our families and our children and all that kind of stuff and and i i will tell you um on sunday night um you know uh we got a, a alert in my area that it was a eight-year-old a little boy that lived in my my neighborhood that was um autistic he was missing and where i live people pretty much stay to themselves and they pretty much um you know they'll say hi but they don't go out of their way to be neighborly right because everybody's just doing their own thing and so but i will tell you that night when that alert went out and it you know came across our televisions it came across our cell phones and all that kind of stuff when we went outside because my husband and my son went outside to help find this little boy the whole entire neighborhood was looking um for this little boy and and i was like wow you know even though we don't speak on a regular basis or whatever the whole entire neighborhood came out to to look for this little boy and thank god they found it and, and I, i'm saying this because it is going to literally take a village of wives and that's the reason why this wife summit is going to be so important and that was the reason why god told me that i needed to have it in the heart of dc because that's where a lot of um politics and laws and all kind of shenanigans goes on and so he he literally you know guided me to make sure that i can have it in the heart of dc but i, I just want to tell you the family is under attack like never before and and i i went into prayer for the family and what god revealed to me is that when a family can you know when when the devil can just get a wife or a husband right he just can impact that one life in a sense but when he attacks the family he attacks the legacy right and and most of the people 
I know that want something out of life, want to leave a legacy for their children, their grandchildren. We want our families to be better off than we was raised. And so when God showed me that, yeah, if he just attacks you, Gail, he just, um, you know, destroys your life or he, he impacts what's going on in your personal life. But if he can in, impact Gil and he can impact Joshua and he can impact Justin and he can impact uh, Angelina and he can impact Angelique, he can just start and that impacts a legacy, right? Because our job as parents is to, to create legacy for, for our children. And so I was like, okay, God, well, how do we really, really um, make an impact? How do we change that when we're dealing with the devil. And I, I went and I did some research. Do you know that 55% of women, women of faith, it doesn't matter what religious, you know, you know, institution you, you belong to, but 55 women of 55% women of faith actually pray every single day with only 35% of men of faith that pray every day. So the dynamic is, is, is saying that even though men are the head of our households, they're not doing as much prayer as we need them to do. So as their help meets, right? Because I was like, Lord, this is, are these statistics true? And how do we change that dynamic? And how come they're not praying more? And how come they're not covering us more? And how come, you know, I, I just went into that, how comes? And God was like, but you are Gilbert's help me, right? And, 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 and you are, have, have the authority just like Gil does when you accepted me. And so I want to come on here and encourage wives. If you're in a situation where your family is being attacked, you have to use the weapons that he has given you, which is your mouth. And we do a good job running our mouths and gossiping and talking about each other and doing all those things. So we just need to use our mouths and our weapons, right, a a to cover our families, our husbands, and, and, and ask God to allow them to be the head of our households and to, to cover them with prayer and ask God to help them see that they they um, need to be praying more, right? And, and and it's not for you to go and say, you need to be praying more. That's why this how this family's in a in an uproar. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. And, and I used to be that woman, but no, 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 no. I have authority. I can take control and I can pray for my spouse. I can open my mouth and I can cover Gil and I can cover my boys and I can do those things. And so when you look at Ephesians uh, 6 and 13, the NIV version, it says, put on the full armor of God so you can take a stand against the enemy and the devil's schemes and scams, right? And so for me, when I read that scripture, I was like, God, no more. Am I going to allow anything to come my way? I know you said that they're going to form. I know the devil is going to try, but I am going to use my weapons, which is my voice, because I have a voice, to tear down some of these strongholds that families are going to. He's attacking us, our bodies. He's attacking us mentally. He's attacking us financially. He's attacking us in so many different areas with pornography, with just so many different things that families are facing. So I just want to come on here and to encourage you to get on your face, cut off this, these, these cell phones, cut off the TV and all the shenanigans that's going on TV because it's not real and get on your face and fight for your families. Fight for what God has already said that you can have. You can have peace. You can have love. You can have joy. You can have finances. You can have so many things, but it starts with you opening your mouth and taking back what the enemy has tried to steal from you. And if he can't get you, granted, he's going to try through your husband. He's going to try to your children. He's going to try through your your um your things, your personal things, the car breaking down, all of those different things, he's going to try. But you can take authority over all of those things. And, and I'm just a, a strong believer. And I, 
After talking to that young lady today, I encouraged her and I prayed for her, but I also wanted you guys to know that we as a collective body of wives, we can change things. And I know for a fact, that this wise summit is going to literally shake the core of Washington, D.C., because we're going to come together and we're going to pray down some of these strongholds over families, over drugs, over uh, the lack of education, all of these different things that is tearing down this family structure. That's what we're going to do. And so I, I, I speak to each and every last one of you guys. I know you're tired. I know you have a thousand things on your plate. I understand that you're in school and you got all of these things going on. But let me just tell you, if you started putting God as the head of your household and you start interceding and praying for things to change, I guarantee you it's going to happen. I just guarantee you it's going to happen. So I want to um, leave you with, with the words of encouragement that God gave me. He says, at the end, you win. So doesn't matter if your child is acting the fool. It doesn't matter if your husband is acting the fool. It doesn't matter if your boss is acting the fool. It doesn't matter if your car broke down and you were stuck. It doesn't matter about any of those things because at the end, you win. And so, Spirit of the Living God, I thank you, Father God, for every single woman that is on this call. I thank you, Father God, that you have already given her the victory. Give her the strength to open up her mouth and declare that you are God that supplies, that can do, can turn, can refresh, can renew, can restore every single thing that she needs, Father God. Give her her weapon, Father God, which is your word and her mouth, Father God. You said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities in high places, and that we win if we use our weapons, which is your 66 books, your word, Father God, that is never changing, but always wins. And I decree and I declare that every single woman under the sound of my voice wins, Father God. Give her the strength. Give her the vision. Give her the know-how. Give her just one more chance at it, Father God, to get it right. I restore families with my voice. I restore marriages with my voice. I decree and declare that there will be no more divorce under the sign of my voice as long as we are staying in your word and your will. I just give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor in your precious holy name. Amen. And so, uh, ladies, I just thank you that you are on this journey to take back everything that the enemy is trying to take from you and that God is, you're using your mouth to restore and revitalize your marriage and bring your kids into the alignment. Call them as though they already are. Call everything as, as, as God has already called them. If they're acting a the fool, call them blessed. If they still running away from home, call them safely in their beds. If your husband is not doing what he needs to do, Call him what God has already said that he's going to be and believe that and stand on that. And I love you guys to pieces. And I thank you so much for joining me tonight on Wife Chat. Again, if you have any questions for me and I'll scroll through here, if you have any comments, if there's anything that you want me to tackle here on Wife Chat, you guys know I'm an open book and I am so ready to do that. You guys have sent me a whole bunch of things and I have tackled a whole bunch of things. Uh, let me just see. Everybody just saying amen, amen. Hello, hello, hello. I am a witness. Satan is too busy in my son. But you know what, Naomi? You can conquer all of that with your mouth and believe in God that he is already what God has said he's going to be because I know you are a woman of God and I know that you are a, a, a prayer warrior. So just go in and pray for your your son. And the more he asks the food, the harder you pray for. Him. All right. All right, ladies. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me here on Wife Chat. Um, if you have any other comments or whatever, I always go back and um, look at the comments and I always go back and, and try to answer your questions. If you don't want to mention what's going on, 
um, you can always hit me up in a personal message. Um, make sure that you guys are visiting um, uh, the Wives Summit because um, we are always adding new things. Um, and, and make sure that you register because again, it's, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to be a, a lot of spots left. And, I, and I'm just being honest, it's going to sell out and God has already showed me that. And I want you guys to literally come and join me here in Washington, DC as, as we do some amazing, amazing work for the kingdom and for, for marriages all over the world. Um, again, I don't see any other um, questions or anything like that. Again, I thank you so much for joining me on Wife Chat tonight. I thank you for all your comments. I thank you for any topics that you want, would like for me to cover. Um, just remember, I'm always here every single Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love you guys to pieces, and I will see you later. If you are in the Philadelphia area this weekend, I will be with Truly Wet Wives, Deidre and her team of amazing, amazing wives. They're doing some mighty work in the Philadelphia area. I'm going to be speaking there, so I'm so honored. Um, it's the Wives Slumber Party. It's Friday and Saturday. So go visit uh, Truly Wet Wives here on Facebook, or you can hit them up on their website and learn more about it. And I would love to see you in Philadelphia and hug your neck. She has some amazing things planned for the weekend. And so it's called Wives Night Out. It's a slumber party. It's amazing. All things, all shades of gray. And so I got to work on getting me some, some great pajamas. But anyway, um, if you're in the Philadelphia area, I would really love for you to come out and to join us and get again, have a wonderful night. I love you guys.